well, well, well. We say good evening tonight to each one of you in the precious and adorable name of Jesus, our Christ, and our Lord. Um, a little early. <laughs> I'm to uh, get started uh, right around uh, seven, five minutes from now. Uh, but I um, uh, put the, uh, the more, uh, with the Instagram crowd, uh, they give you these little messages. Hang on, we are telling more followers to join your video. Okay, so um, we, 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 we did this a little early so that they could um, start assembling. And we're going to be in... Um, Acts chapter 2 tonight, a follow up to the um, uh, great day of Pentecost on this past Sunday, and um, uh, the effects of Pentecost uh, are ongoing. Uh, they, they will never cease. Uh, we celebrate the event of that day. Um, and the pearls of it, we yet open the uh, oysters' mouths of experience and expectation and look forward to seeing uh, the beautiful redeeming ramifications and the uh, ever present empowerment of um, uh, Pentecost. So we're grateful to be able to share that tonight. Uh, you are blessed, my brother. You are blessed, and we bless the Lord for you. Um, we're going to be in Acts chapter 2, um, and it's um, a, a pulling area for me tonight, a, a pulling area. Um uh, from that um, uh, eventful area of verses 7 through uh, 13, 7 through 13, uh, that um, uh, the Holy Spirit has led us to tonight. Oh, blessed Lord, King of our lives and King of all of our uh, existence and expectations, through the experiences that you allow us and plan for us to exercise. We pray your blessing upon uh, every heart, mind, soul, spirit, family, uh, every dad, every mom, every son, every daughter, um, each one of your children that earlier this morning you stopped by their sleeping couches and uh, touch them with your divine finger of love and caused our golden moments to hitch up to the chariot of time and roll on just <laughs> a little while longer. And we're grateful to be able uh, to celebrate um, the while, the while, while, the, the while that uh, has been ours to, to experience um, from the early existence of this morning right up until this present time. We're grateful, O oh Lord, for the abundance of thy grace and of thy mercies. Empower your people tonight. And educate us. Reach into the areas where uh, you know we need more of you and uh, release um, release uh, everything about yourself that will allow us to uh, to be engaged with the power of your presence as only you can provide and we shall forever give thy name praise honor and glory, for we ask it all in the precious and adorable name of Jesus our Christ and our Lord, we pray, amen, and thank God. Well, the main 
the main screen up here didn't move, but I see that the uh, Instagram um, screen did move and lost those who were engaged to uh, follow and to share with us tonight. Maybe they'll pick us back up. I see some coming back now. We bless the Lord. Bless the Lord for each one of y'all. God bless. God bless. Come on in. Come on in. The door is open. Uh, <laughs> I would ask. Uh, <laughs> I'm not going to ask. Have you had your shots yet? <laughs> Come on in. Come <laughs> Come on in, come on in, come on in. Choose, I see you got your own chair. Choose your seat and sit down. Uh, um, we, we're very fortunate to be able uh, to share tonight, to share tonight, to share tonight. Um, over there in the second chapter of Acts in the post period, uh, and in the progressive period after the day itself we've celebrated on this past Sunday, but um, the, the, there, there is um, an adjoining uh, flow that uh, it, uh, the Lord has uh, impregnated our spirit, seeded us to, um, to share a bit of tonight in the midst of... Um, um, racial difficulties that um, we have experienced um, uh, shootings uh, killings uh, maiming uh, all in the name of some supposed um, air of superiority that some nationalities feel over the other, but um, I, I read, I read, I read, I read, I read, uh, especially verses seven through thirteen. Uh, the impartation of um, uh, the Holy Spirit, um, Pentecost. The, Where did it come from and who was it designed designed to reach? And um, what, what what day what, what day now are we living within because of the impact of Pentecost, the impact of Pentecost and uh, the reverberations of it is yet uh, apparent for us today. Um, uh, on the day of Pentecost, all the believers were meeting together in one place. Suddenly, there was a sound from heaven like the roaring of a mighty windstorm, and it filled the house where they were sitting. The fit filled the house where they were said they filled the house house. So our our uh, governor uh, and for those who are not in Virginia, I'm in Virginia. Or uh, I think it was right around March the 30th, 2020. We got a an executive order that was over the entire world, although, but the uh, the United States uh, specifically uh, got executive orders from our governor to uh, maintain uh, residence at your house, uh, activity, uh, jobs moved to houses, Zoom got a whole lot of money and other connections of vir virtual lifestyles, The uh, even our churches. Some have not gone back to their um, uh, normal facilities. I hear a whole lot of brothers, even now, say first Sunday, first Sunday. They'd be going back on first Sunday because of the apparent um, uh, number of vaccinations, 
nationally and internationally as well and in our within our own congregations many are going back on this coming first Sunday some have gone back already they've used uh, the CDC arrangement in terms of um, uh, the seating arrangement uh, so 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 life within the pandemic coming out of the pandemic um, uh, I sense a timing uh, along with uh, the impact of Pentecost during this period and uh, I'm, I'm I guess I'm profit enough uh, to, uh, to, 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 to examine Pentecost at this time, uh, associating itself in our uh, move of history for now, for now, for now, for now. Um, then what looked like flames or tongues of fire appeared and settled on each of them. I'm reading from the New Living, the New Living, the, the New Living, <laughs> the, the uh, New Living Translation. And everyone, I'm in verse uh, four now, everyone present was filled with the Holy Spirit. Everyone present was filled. And, and I want to make that, um, uh, that, 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 that claim um, tonight. Everyone present was filled with the Holy Spirit and began speaking in other languages. And I'm stressing these other languages uh, for, for historic purposes and for us generationally that are uh, offspring of some of our cousins uh, that was in this crowd uh, uh, up there in John Mark's mom and dad's house on the uh, second floor there. Um, um, and, and as I mentioned on this past Sunday, and have mentioned ever since I was uh, uh, fortunate enough in uh, one of my visits to the Holy Land, uh, to be, to be in that room, to be in that room, sharing um, with other um, uh, uh, pilgrims that have gone, that went to the Holy Land for for that educational period, uh, and the languages, different languages were there that day and. A, 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 as separated from the original uh, uh, birth date of the church, um, uh, even then in the uh, 80s, when, when I visited, um, the experience, <laughs> the, the experience of uh, uh, Glossalia and uh, Pentecost itself, the release of the Holy Ghost and from different nations, there was there was a speaking in tongue even then. I, I'll never forget that. I will never forget that as the Holy Spirit gave them this ability. Verse 5, at that time there were devout Jews. There were devout Jews from every nation living in Jerusalem, when they heard the loud noise, everyone came running, <laughs> and they were bewildered to hear their own languages being spoken by the believers. You know, uh, and, and as I listened to um, uh Persons on the TV, especially uh, our, our political leaders from around the country, um, and the majority of uh, Congress persons 
and uh, senators are of um, a predominantly uh, a white race. They may have different nationalities in terms of their heritage, uh, but uh, um, when I saw Ms. Cory Booker, uh, Pastor Warnock, um, uh, in the Senate now, uh, there are only uh, there are only about three or four or five blacks that have populated the Senate. Uh, many more uh, have been in the House of Representatives, but but very few. And 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 um, uh, the uh, the nation at this time titters upon. Um, uh, the 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 uh, presence of um, uh, Mr. Trump, who have infiltrated uh, the the discussion of uh, political life and life in this country from a sway of um, uh, prevailing dominance that um, so much so that. In the period of insurrection during July, um, uh, the, the, that whole discussion relative to Black Lives Matter and and and, and these other um, um, uh, 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 nations, persons, and, and even recent there, back down in Elizabeth City, this this lady of another another race rides through uh, the protesters um, um, ranks with a car and turn the car into an, an instrument of killing, maiming, um, crippling. Um, and it just seems as though, and I guess I'm speaking as well out of a um, out of my own history. Uh, being a child of desegregation, um, uh, went to majority uh, segregated schools in 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 Virginia, and um, uh, had to break the uh, race barriers in the majority of white schools as desegregation uh, was calling for calling for that. Desegregation was calling for that in the post um, uh, Dr. King period, um, uh, and 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 and, and uh, whether I was in uh, Woodrow Wilson High School, and as I mentioned his name, uh, <laughs> there are many schools now in Virginia that uh, have had their name. The names of their schools changed because of the historic backgrounds of some uh, who 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 received the received the name in those schools uh, from uh, figures uh, that 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 were mainly um, of the Confederacy, uh, so that. That, that nomenclature of seeking to um, uh, highlight um, the desegregation back then to do it in the schools, but whew, um, they, they, you can't even go in the grocery store good now without uh, uh, the the the, the, the suffrage of political political uh, temperament um, regulating um, part of the conversation you, you, you almost don't you always don't, don't want to speak to folk uh, because of um, the possibility of getting into an argument um, but 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 when I look at Pentecost, Shante, when I look at Pentecost, um, God, God has not had any problems 
with making us different. Um, he, he made us. Uh, <laughs> he made us different. Uh, uh, he, he made us different. Uh, as, as I get to uh, verse 5, at that time there were devout Jews from every nation living in Jerusalem. And when they heard the noise, the loud noise, everyone came running and they were bewildered to hear their own languages being spoken by the believers being spoken by their believers. They were completely amazed. How can this be? They exclaimed. Uh, and by now we should have learned uh, through their exclamation. Uh, they heard um, uh, folks speaking in their own language. And they were not from only Jerusalem or from um, uh, a Hebrew-speaking um, community. These people are from Galilee, as, as the scripture highlights. And yet we hear them speaking in our own native languages. Here we are, Parthians, Mendes, Elamites, people from Mesopotamia, Judea, Cappadocia, Pontus, the province of Asia, Phadria, Pamphylia, Egypt, and the areas of Libya, hit me here, around Cyrene, visitors from Rome, both Jews and converts to Judaism, Cretans and Arabs, Arabians. And we all hear these people speaking in our own languages. And what were what was the speaking? About the wonderful things God had done. So, so God just didn't speak in one language. And if so, he spoke in one language that everybody could understand. He spoke uh, he spoke in Holy Spirit language. <laughs> and everyone who were gathered in Jerusalem as the, um, as the direct, uh, directing, the direction had been outlined, get there in Jerusalem. I got something to show the world. And he sent he he sent them from where they were 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 were, were natives into a place where they joined in with others from around the world. And then once the Holy Spirit fell upon them, they were able to take well to receive the message. They were gathered there to receive, and then dispersed or scattered back to their native lands and carried the message as they had received the, the message in the language they understood so they could best communicate it, communicate the message to those within their own families, within their own communities. Uh, within their own, um, own homelands. And uh, it, it, it just uh, gets me when I hear all of these uh, reasons why 
Well, I don't understand you because uh, you, you're not of my you're not of my clan. You're not of my uh, you don't speak my language. You you're a Negro. You you and they they use the the grow part off uh, <laughs> and 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 just highlight neg, you know, um, and degrading. And once we once we get finished degrading one another, we we don't have communication. We have no level of unity. That 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 progress takes takes over and leads us to dimensions of life and living that um, uh, we, 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 we could never we could never on our own um, get rid of that despair and uh, move on to places beyond where we are right now in two places where uh, it seemed as though God 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 was was waiting to sensitize us uh, with an impartation that 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 carries us to uh, heights beyond what we ever thought of relative to our our, our futures. All right, I'm, I'm coming here tonight. I was I sent out this message over my over a telephone. We call it over the phone vite. To remind the members of uh, our um, our gathering times, and uh, we'll be here at seven o'clock tonight. And you know, from wherever they are, in terms of um, if they're working, they can still pull us in on um, Facebook or um, uh, uh, now I'm, I'm on uh, Instagram tonight. Um, uh, Twitter, uh, we, we, we share that, that, that level of getting the word out. Um, when you understand what, what's happening, understand what is going on, you, you can get more done. I'm fortunate that when the message went out tonight, um, and I... I was able, before I came here, to talk with one of my, I mean, the oldest member that I have in our church. Um, uh, she celebrated her birthday. Uh, I forget the exact date, but about two weeks ago, I think. And we had an opportunity to, 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 to merge with her and her daughters from different sectors of the country, one in Washington, other down in Tennessee. And uh, Mama had her 95th, Mama had her 95th birthday. Well, well, well while I was trying to prepare to, to come, to come be with y'all tonight, to be here, Mama, <laughs> Mama talked to me 15 minutes before I got here. <laughs> I was not able to get in or <laughs> to get a good word in. Uh, I, I did say, I did, did call her name when I saw it on the caller ID. And that was it. That 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 was it. 95 years old. And uh, Shante, Shante up here. Shante, Shante is, is here. There are others who are here, but they haven't appeared, but Sister Hughes, 95 in her right mind. Uh, I mean, she ain't got no wrong mind, y'all. She got a right mind and still articulating um, and governs her own and manages yet her own um, household. Uh, Daughters, government tied and what have you. Um, but Mama's here at the house. Her, her dad was, um, I mean, her, her husband, her husband uh, was a minister on a funeral home and uh, conducted funerals 
in my church and other churches around Hampton Roads. Um, my sons were involved in it as well until one had a stroke and it kind of really debilitated him and he was not able to function. But mama functioned as long as she could. Uh, and uh, uh, gave it up. But mom is still active, still active, 95 years old, still articulating. She used to sing in the choir, used to teach in the Sunday school, still articulate. Um, she has that stuff, she has that Holy Ghost stuff that, uh, that, 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 that keeps uh, that spirit within her alive. And when I read about these nations and these persons that um, comp that, that represent these these nations, I, I go straight to Cyrene. Cyrene, I go to Cyrene, in, in that we are de dealing with um, uh, uh, in the upper room now, uh, uh, dealing with Jesus. You know when Jesus was was bearing his cross up the Via Della Rosa, um, up the streets, uh, le leading uh, to the to Golgotha's skull-shaped mountain, um, and he had not eaten um, after Judas had betrayed him um, and, um, and committed. Uh, uh, treason um, um, he was separated he was in in the courtrooms uh, and, and he did, wasn't able to eat wasn't able to sleep that night and he was he was weakened but he was yet um, uh, obligated to carry that cross as part of his Roman Roman judgment to die over against the other two uh, who would die with him that day. He was in the middle. But he wasn't able to carry the cross all the way. He wasn't able to carry the cross all the way. But, but, but from Cyrene, from northern Africa, that, that's why Libya is associated in, in Egypt, Pamphylia, Phaedria, all of these closely connected uh, nations listed there were in order relative to those persons who were there. While Jesus fell to his knees under the weight of the cross on his way up to Golgotha, there was a pilgrim from Cyrene which is in northern Africa, who was compelled by the Roman soldiers to pick up the cross where, that Jesus was carrying and carry it up Golgotha's skull-shaped mountain, finish the journey that was necessary to get this cross up this mountain so that Jesus could complete his sentence to die on the cross as punishment. But uh, as a lamb, and, and, I, and I, I make this shift because that's ultimately uh, from our belief stance, uh, Jesus had a responsibility as lamb slain from the foundation of the world, in time, in time, in a period of time that um, the writer Luke could record this event, um, he wrote about and wrote in who it was that was compelled by the Roman uh, 
government, the soldiers there, to pick up that cross where Jesus fell and finish the journey up this, up this mountainside. It was Simon of Cyrene, a northern African, a northern African, uh, uh, who, who later, <laughs> later was a mentor of the Apostle Paul. He was, he was, a, he, he was a mentor <laughs> of the Apostle Paul. He helped write part of the New Testament that we read from. And, and Simon of Cyrene Carry, and I wondered, I wondered, I wonder, and I can feel, I feel the Holy Ghost even now as, as, uh, as I, as I, as I reflect upon this. How, how did Simon feel? Um, bearing that cross <sighs> that was not his, it was this other man. That 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 they had called an imposter. He was not the son of God. But 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 Simon knew who he was. And 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 to and and to and to and to carry the cross that Jesus was carrying until he could not go further. To carry this cross to its destination. For me, for me, for me, uh, as an African American, uh, <laughs> uh, with all of and 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 I identify with the George Floyds. I I I I I, I identify with the Andrew Browns. I. I identify even with Breonna Taylor's. I, all of our brothers and sisters that 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 of late, and I go back to Tulsa, Oklahoma. I think it was around 1921, 1925, when 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 the whole community was destroyed. They used to call it the Black Wall Street. Um, and 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 uh, they're trying to redo that. No one has ever been able to duplicate the success rim of of Wall Street in America that 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 was produced by natives of Africa. But there is an attempt going on right now. And I, and I think of the historicity relative to uh, Simon carrying this cross, and and me as a Christian, you as a Christian that that that, that is of African descent, when 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 the generational um, uh, the generation the generations of believers. Uh, yet exists. Are you a cousin of Simon? Are you are you in a sense one of his relatives? When 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 Alex Haley <laughs> uh, did his uh, ancestral search back to the homeland, what 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 portion of of of, of did he descend from? That 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 the um, the uh, the foundation, that the generational connection from that foundation may include me and may include you. And for all we are subjected to, what 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 is the um, what 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 is the effect? What is the implication? What is the heritage that 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 we 
hold to now as sons and daughters of nations that are that are numbered having the the the, the, the historical legend bear, bear the name of where we came from, where we have ancestry, where we have land, where we have uh, uh, the ground and the gravel of promise uh, um, etched under the fingernails of our of our working hand and our 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 complicit hand in helping to develop a lifestyle, a mentality, a, a promise that keeps us, um, a prayer that, that we can yet get to Father God, um, um, and, 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 and it, and it, and it reinforces my faith walk right now. And, and I feel the chilliness when, when I was talking to to Mother Hughes, 95 years old, and she was just remarking about um, uh, Senator Warner, who was 94, and he was and he died, and she said, "The Lord left me here, uh, and I'm one year older than he is." And she went through that. And uh, what's your what is really our heritage? Alex Haley has helped us, but when we read, um, and 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 I, and I, and I want to, uh, I want to share. I'm gonna hold this book up. Uh, what is it? Upon this rock, uh, you know, Jesus said that I will build my church, and the gates of hell shall not prevail against it. Well, upon this rock, also is highlighted by uh, an African historian, Ogbon. Naya, Agban Naya. Um, uh, he 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 has a PhD, and he wrote this book, this little, little handbook here, the African influence in the Christian Church, uh, <laughs> and it has the historians here it have the pictures of the of the of the, and I hold it up so you can see that on Instagram. Uh, Urban Ministries Inc. Um, and its founder has just gone on home to heaven, uh, Dr. Melvin Banks. He went on home to heaven the um, uh, earlier this year. They funeralized him. But he started the ministry, Urban Ministries Inc. And they publish. Um, uh, uh, African, the African presence in in the Christian Church, published literature, Sunday school lessons, um, all of that, and 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 part that, that that that's part of my heritage, and I uh, and I, uh, I mean if 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 Simon and they got Simon in here, they got Simon in here, Simon called Niger, that that's him. He's on page six. Simon called Niger and um, Antioch, Acts 13. Christians were, fir were first called Christians at Antioch. Majority black nation. Majority black church. <laughs> so we just ain't got started. It, we're, I mean, it, it just didn't come out of 1619. This was back, uh, and that's why uh, Simon was an influencer of, of, of the Apostle Paul, who had found a uh, church in Antioch. But that's where, that, that, that's where the black folk were. So founding of churches is, is not something new. It's not something uh, new to us, planting new churches. It's not something just new. It's old, y'all. And it was planted by folk who had the, the fresh release of the anointing up there in that upper room. 
and they and they and, and they are listed in the Hall of Fame. <laughs> listed in the Hall of Hall of Fame. I mean, I mean, we, we don't even read uh, the, the 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 legend. And you and we took geography in in uh in school and uh in elementary school and and junior high and high school. We 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 we, we took geography. And then when we read the Bible, it is a book of history. Um, it, it gives rise to how we got started, why, why we pray the way we pray, why we do what we do, how we do it, why we do it. We, we have a heritage. And, and I just trust that, um, and, and there's one more area uh, I will... Uh, None of us should be broke. Um, <laughs> no, uh, uh, let, let me let me move over here to verse forty-two. Verse. Let me go to verse forty-two. Then I'll let y'all go for the night. Um, uh, uh, going to go, go, go going to Acts chapter two, beginning with verse forty-two. All the believers devoted themselves to. The apostles, we call it the apostles' doctrine, but it's nothing but the apostles' teaching. Because since Jesus was a teacher, a rabbi, when he taught his, his 12 disciples, those 12 disciples end up becoming the first apostles. And apostles are those who learned directly from Jesus. They learned directly. They, they were in Jesus' classroom. They walked with him. And they, and they experienced him. He was on the ship with them. And the apostolic reference comes during this period that we are passing through now in the book of Acts, the apostles' teaching, what they learned from Jesus, that's what they taught to the new believers. And the fellowship within the churches, the, 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 um, the, uh, the, uh, the, the, the involvement in the life of the church. And we sing it, what? A fellowship, what a joy divine or divine joy. That's glossalia. That's what that, that that that's the language, the language of joy <laughs> that that was shared. So the teaching, the fellowship, sharing in meals, including the Lord's Supper. And in prayers, these folk uh, practice it and kept it going, and that's why we do what we do. But we do it out of the hue of our, our how we did it, or how Sister Hughes and them did it. Sister Hughes ninety five. And how the how the generation before her did it, and she passed it on. She passed on pieces of it, I, and I had to ask her what, what were some of those songs you used to sing, and she would lead them. I remember when she was in the uh, 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 in my first church at Mount Lebanon, and she was singing in the senior choir, and, and there were certain songs they would sing, and she would lead some of them. And uh, <laughs> so we have a history. Don't let your history die. Because it's, it's part of you. It's part of you. do some stuff right now that you saw your grandmama, your granddaddy do. Don't, don't lose it. Don't lose it. Pass it on to your children. Um, but, but this other thing, too, a sense... Verse 43, a sense, a sense of awe came over them all. Awe 
reverence, reverence. And the apostles performed many miraculous signs and wonders. And all the believers met together in one place and shared everything they had. They sold their property and possessions and shared the money with those in need. They worshiped together at the temple each day, met in homes for the Lord's Supper. And folk, talking about this mental illness now, that they've been in the house too long, that's where the church first got started. And when you stay in the house and don't turn your house into a church, uh, you will be challenged mentally. But if you turn your house into a church, if you sing your way through, like we're coming out of this pandemic now, sing your way through, um, go and walk sometimes, go, 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 go and exercise, walk it, walk it out, walk it out, walk it out, uh, or, or you'll, be, you, you, you'll suffer uh, because a time is coming. The Lord knows how, how long we can stand being inside and staying inside teaches us how to act once we get outside. This is part of Pentecost, y'all. And if we miss this, we, we, we can't uh, mature as we should, nor, nor, nor step back into uh, what we term as normal. It was normal to stay in the house. Pentecost came upstairs on the second floor of John Marks, of Mark, who wrote the book of Mark, the Gospel of Mark, up, upstairs, his mama and daddy's house. On the second floor, it, it occurred right there. That's where Pentecost happened. And um, uh, you, 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 it ought to be some great, some great memory you have of being in the house during the pandemic. It's one of the closest things we got to what's going to be happening as we come out of this. So we in now, and you ought to have some money when you come out too. <laughs> Where did that money come from? Those folk created economies while they were inside. They, it said, it said they sold their property and possessions and shared the money with those in need. And that's happening right now. How many? How many? How 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 many folk you didn't help feed? How many folk have you helped? Have you helped feed? They worship together at the temple every day. Every day, met in homes for the Lord's supper, shared their meals with great joy and generosity, and all the while praising God and enjoying the goodwill of all the people. And each day, the Lord added to their fellowship those who were being saved. Three thousand of them got saved the first day. By the time they get the Acts 6, when they needed diggings, the, the church was about 25,000 uh, members strong. Um, uh, so so from, from Acts 2 to uh, uh, Acts 6. And, and the church has been growing ever since. Uh so 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 don't 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 get sidetracked by the crazy folk. They, they they miss the Holy Ghost that that settles everything every everybody down. They don't they don't they don't have to get in a car and run you down. That that's crazy. But they get a way to 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 to, to entertain the Alice Hugheses. I just sent out the call to let folk know I'll be here around 7 o'clock. See, Jackie and them come and some other folk. Uh, other folk are watching. Old folk watching now. But Sis Hughes, Sis Hughes, Sis <laughs> 95 years old. That's who I talked to before I came 
came on on here tonight. I came straight from talking to her. She called after I called. I got your number now. <laughs> I got your number. I got your number. Y'all, next time, if you want if you want a copy of this book, holler at me. I'll make sure you get one. Upon this rock, African influence in the Christian church. And don't let nobody, no nobody uh demean you. You 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 you're original. <laughs> you got you have you have a deed. You <laughs> <laughs> you you have a you have stock in the kingdom. That's why we get through so much. We got stock in the kingdom. We help carry the cross all the way up. The Lord did what he was supposed to do once he got up there. Once, once they had nailed him to the cross, but that cross they nailed him to, he couldn't carry it all the way. Our cousin carried it. Simon. Simon carried that cross all the way up there. Our cousin. Our cousin helped him get that cross up there. And the Lord has not forgotten us. He has not forgotten us. And he ain't finished yet. The Lord is not finished yet. Father, I pray your blessing tonight. In this, in this, in this hour where uh, in a broken fashion, uh, but with, but with, uh, step by step walking, understanding, kind of put, kind of put a, a person with what is here in print, and and kind of look at what, 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 what how you use others, and 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 what you're saying tonight as the as the how my house can 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 can. Can, can be representative of a place you don't mind walking in talking in so, and, and I've been I've been I've been I've been I've been and, and I tell members when I call them you got blessings that have come to your front door your back door and they've been coming through your windows and you still blessed still in your right mind and God ain't Ain't finished blessing yet. So by day and by night, y'all, Lord continue to magnify, uh, magnify yourself among us and help us uh, to see uh, beyond what's just printed and to see part of our history. See our cousins and our our nieces and our nephews, some kind of way. We may not know their name if we saw them today, but uh, we feel, we feel, we feel a unity. So we pray for family. We pray for men uh, who know how to put their hand on the steering wheel when the flashing lights come up behind them. Teach us how to talk. Teach us how to interact so that we can drive away and not shed any blood, not lose life. But Lord, teach us how to maintain our lives and our living. Wake us up from all of the deaths that have come in our community recently. But wake us up to a new destiny, a new purpose, and drive us as we drive others to carry our crosses. Must Jesus bear the cross alone and all the world go free? No, there's a cross for everyone. And there's a cross for you. 
And there's a cross for me. The consecrated cross I bear until death sets us free. Then go home. A crown to wear. <laughs> Lord, give us these rights to exchange. And we shall forever give thy name, praise, honor, and glory. Hey, by, for we ask it all in the precious and adorable name of Jesus, our Christ, and our Lord. Know your value. Know your value, y'all. We're in the book. We are in the book. Know your value. God bless. God bless, God bless. Trust has been a blessing for you tonight. If you want one of these, holler at me. Holler at me or send me a text or send me a, send me a post. Some kind of way. Give me a word. Um, Dr. Banks still got some. He's, his, his coming is still going. And uh, we still can pass on some things to you and for you. Uh, God bless. God bless. You're in my prayers. I trust I'm in yours as well. Okay? Thank y'all for showing up tonight. God bless. God bless.